Hello investors, it's Petko Alexandrov. Today is 11th of May 2020. We are just before the halving of the Bitcoin. We will see what will happen uh, during this halving. And today I have decided to record one more lecture about the aggressive counter trend line. It's a little bit more advanced technique and I was not planning to include it in the course, but it gives us better opportunities to buy at a cheaper price and to sell at more expensive price when we are selling actually the Bitcoin. Now for the long opportunities when we are buying an asset, the aggressive counter trend line gives us better price. So I will explain to you how that works. I have explained it in some of my courses and I will try to make it as clear as possible. The last lecture I have recorded that small counter trend line which we had right over here on the 8th of May and I took one portion of Tezos and then what happened the price failed to go about 10,000 even it broke a couple of times and we had a huge drop on the 9th of May for some reason. There were a lot of reasons described over the internet. I will not talk about them. Doesn't really matter. The price dropped and it gives me better opportunities to buy at a cheaper price. Now, one more counter trend line could be drawn right here, right? This one, we have a lower high, so we have another counter trend line. Now, what happened? The price fell down and it gives me the chance to draw this aggressive counter trend line. This is how I call it. So I take the last high from where my last counter trend line was drawn and I connect it to the next lower point. After that, you can see what happens right here. Actually, I will try to make it very precise so you can see. Right over here, I have the chance to draw another aggressive counter trend line going through the tops of these candlesticks. So this counter trend line, this aggressive counter trend line is from the last stop. I connect it with the next point right over here, not here, because if it's through this stop, I will show you what happens if it is from this previous candle. Yeah, exactly. If I use this candle or this one, I will have the price going through it and I don't want that. I want the counter trend line or this aggressive counter trend line to be on the top of the price. So no price will be breaking it on the point of where I'm drawing. Okay, so this is it. You can see that at this point, these candlesticks are not touching it. So this is the point from where it should go. And from there, I take another one which goes through this candlestick and it went through here where I actually bought another portion of Tezos because we have a failure of the recent low. This was the lowest point of this huge drop in the Bitcoin and then the price failed one time. It was very far at this moment to break the counter trend line. So I waited. So we have this failure of the recent low, okay? And the price broke it last night. And I took another portion of uh, Tezos and now the price is going just sideways. Okay, so this is how I use the aggressive counter trend line. And I just want to give you one more example with aggressive counter trend line so you can understand me how that works and let me see some of the previous examples that I demonstrated to you and actually there are quite many examples of the aggressive counter trend line but I just want to make it clearer okay here it is for example this one over here that's a very good example of a counter trend line because we have a failure of the recent low and what you can draw as aggressive counter trend line this way, okay? So we have the counter trend line, but from the last stop, you can take another line connecting a lower point, a lower top to draw the aggressive counter trend line. And that's not really a great, great example. I will try to look for some more. Okay, here we have a very good counter trend line actually. Basically, the aggressive counter trend line comes useful when we have a huge drop, just what we had the last days, and we can draw another line 
which will give us a better entry. Okay, so for example, right over here, this one, let me have a closer look. Right over here, as we said, this is not an entry because we don't have a failure of the recent low. But what we can have here is this aggressive counter trend line starting from here. Okay, so first it will go through this top and this top. And then we can have another one going through these candlesticks. I'm not sure if you see it. I will make sure you see it if I zoom. Okay, so there is uh, this one coming through these candlesticks here. And then from this candlestick, we can take another aggressive counter trend line and draw it either through this top, okay, either through this one. Depends where you catch it. I mean, if you are at this moment and you have the opportunity to draw such aggressive counter trend lines, you can have a better entry if we have a failure of the recent low. So if I should be accurate, it must be like that. Okay, so we have the aggressive counter trend line fails to take the low and we can have the entry right over here. All right, as the name says, aggressive counter trend line, it's for the more aggressive investors and traders who are looking to buy the cheaper price. And so uh, one more time going to the current example, you can see that it gave me the opportunity to buy at much cheaper price because if I didn't have it here and I had this counter trend line and if I wait the price to reach again this levels to enter right over here, that is a huge move, okay? And I want this to be profit, not to wait to buy at this levels. Anyway, we will see what happens uh, with the Bitcoin halving. I am looking for buying opportunities for the moment because we are still in an uptrend. That's the most important. If I switch to the daily chart, we have still an uptrend. If the price forms a lower high and then a lower low, then we will be in the downtrend and I will be waiting to have an uptrend before I buy again. If you have any questions about it, let me know. Make some drawings over the chart, send it to me and I will let you know if that is a good counter trend line or not. Thanks for watching and I will see you in the next videos. Cheers.